Hi there, it's Heather from Paisley Home Design at paisleyhome.net. Today I have my beautiful Fixer Upper Magnolia style wreath and I wanted to show you how you can make it for about $20 in under an hour. I know you're looking for these for your mantle and for your door and for gifts for friends, but if you've looked in the stores, I know you found they're really expensive. So I want to show you how quick and easy it is to make these on your own. So whip your hair up in your mom bun, come along with me and let me show you where I got the supplies and how you can make your very own right with me. Make sure to comment with questions and let me know what you want to see next on Paisley Home Design. First, let's talk about supplies. I like to use this grapevine garland you can purchase at Hobby Lobby. That way I can make my wreaths any size I want, and they turn out to be a thinner wreath than your normal grapevine wreath that you can purchase. This is only $14.99, and that's before your coupon. But you can use all of these same techniques if you want to purchase a regular grapevine wreath. It'll just end up a little thicker. The other supplies that you'll need are these beautiful magnolia leaves that you can purchase from Hobby Lobby. This is also something that you can use your coupon on, or I would suggest waiting until they're on the 50% off sale that they have several times a year. And that way you can purchase, you'll need two to two and a half bunches, so you can purchase all that you need at the same time. But they're a beautiful uh, leaf. Also, you'll need some wire cutters I would suggest using some that maybe your husband has in the garage rather than these floral ones. They don't cut as well and you'll, you can use them but you'll have a harder time getting the leaves to come off the stems. Also, it's handy to have some pruners nearby so that you can cut your grapevine garland to the size that you'd like. Scissors, zip ties, and glue sticks are also necessary. I love the glue gun that I purchased on Amazon. I'll put the link below. It's actually a cordless model and it's a high heat version, so the glue actually sticks very well. But you can use any glue gun that you have. You'll want to have all of your leaves ready to go, so go ahead and take them in the bunch of three you can see how I'm cutting right down so that I leave some of the stem on and that's going to be easier to glue it to your grapevine wreath. So get all of those ready to go and then you'll have everything ready so your wreath will come together very quickly. Once I have my grapevine cut in the length that I want it, I can use zip ties to secure around the wreath wherever I need it. Often I'll only need two or three, but you can use as many or as few as you'd like. These aren't gonna show when you're done. Be careful not to tie your zip ties too tight, or you'll have a hard time putting the stem of the magnolia leaf through the wreath. Just tight enough to secure your wreath is fine. Keep in mind also, the finished size of your wreath will be much larger than the grapevine itself because you'll have leaves on either side. So the initial size is going to be much smaller than your finished wreath. So then you can just trim the ends of your zip ties and you've got your custom size grapevine wreath ready to go. See how thin it is compared to a regular grapevine wreath. And again, this is just a matter of preference. It helps it to fit in between a storm door and a regular door, so I prefer the thinner one. But now we're ready to add our leaves. In order to make a beautifully full magnolia wreath, we are going to go around the wreath in two layers. The first will be the outer layer, and after that, we'll come around and add leaves to the top of the wreath. For the outer layer, we are gonna put our leaves at an angle Decide your angle to start, and all your leaves will follow that same angle. To attach the leaves, you'll see I'm using a healthy bead of glue on the stem of the magnolia leaf. As you add leaves around, you can leave a couple inches in between each stem. It's going to look very sparse at first because we're just doing this outer layer. But don't worry, it'll fill in as we go. 
Go ahead and do the same thing all the way around the outer edges of your wreath until you meet the first branch that you put in. finished with our outer layer. We have a pretty sparse looking wreath, but don't worry, we're gonna fill that in with our second layer. To create the second layer, you wanna focus on the top of the wreath, looking at the back layer to make sure you're filling in in between those gaps that you left on the first layer. So go ahead all the way around the wreath, the same as you did the first time, except now focusing on the top of the wreath. If you're more comfortable placing the leaf before you actually glue it, go ahead and stick it in and see if you like it in that specific spot. Then take it out, put glue on it, and stick it back in for good. that layer. Now the last thing you need to do is just fill in those bare spots. There'll always be a bare spot or two and you can just take a single leaf, put glue on the bottom of the leaf, and stick it in that spot that's kind of sticking out to you as a bare spot. Fill in with two or three of those around and you have your finished gorgeous wreath. One thing that's nice to add as a finishing touch is a twine hanger on the back of your wreath. That way it's really easy to hang. Also, go around your wreath and give a little shake and a little tug to the leaves to make sure there aren't any loose ones. If you do find one, just go ahead and glue that leaf or stem individually and secure it very well. That's it, you're done. Now you have a gorgeous magnolia wreath. Now go make 24 more. Or go put it on your door, or your mantle, or give it to a friend. 
I hope I was able to answer a lot of your questions by showing you exactly how to put one together. Make sure to comment below with questions and to let me know what you'd like to see next on Paisley Home Design. Also, make sure to go to paisleyhome.net so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming projects. We'll see you soon.